what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel CJ here hopefully you guys are enjoying your holiday weekend today we get version 19 of college football revamped available on PC and PS3 we're gonna be going over the patch notes real quickly so that we all can see what actually is updated in this release so as far as the major updates go we have an updated intro video as you saw the updated cover athlete um, which of course is representing the Ohio State University Jackson Smith and Jigba they also updated the uh, loading screens they updated the play now panels um, it, only on RSPS3 you're gonna get the updated rosters for version 19 uh, for PS3 users we'll have to do that um, on our own separate from the update and of course the probably the major update uh, for 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 this version 19 is that they added James Madison into the game into college football um, revamped um, so with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at them in the game as they are there James Madison Dukes are now officially part of NCAA football 14 and we can go over their uniform presets that they have. They got blackout uniforms. This is my first uh, go through for these uniforms. So these grays, they look pretty nice. And then now they go into their alternates. And James Madison uh, will be part of your dynasties. You just got to start a, a brand new dynasty, of course. And they will be included in the, I believe, in the Sun Belt Conference. So with the addition of James Madison into the game, you will now have a complete Sun Belt Conference. So going through these uniforms. They also have included... I believe their stadium or at least a uh, rendition of their stadium and in order for the college football revamp team to have included James Madison they had to remove a team from the game from the base game uh, so the team that was removed was Florida International University and that's the only way they were able to include James Madison into the game uh, so some folks might be happy, some might be, you know, against it, but it's that's just how it it had to happen. All whites look pretty nice. It's kind of like an ice white set. Going into alternates 13, 14, we have a USA helmet. Looks like it's the uh, JMU with the USA. Um, coloring color scheme there 16 so they got a total of 16 alternates including their home and away and a blackout and a gray set now as far as other updates go for this version 19 they have team updates they included um, there's been updated uniform assets for the following teams now for the the base game teams we have Arizona so let's go ahead and take a look at the their uniforms we have uh, the Arizona Wildcats uh, let's see here So for Arizona, I believe they looks like they fix their pants. These are the whites of the USS Arizona's the Navy. Cardinal. What? 
Let me go through their presets. White on white. Oops, I got their alts. USS Arizona. I don't remember seeing these. We'll just go through them real quick. Twenty twenty homes. Or no. Raise. So it might have been just their pants. Maybe a few of their their uni combos. So we have Arizona. We also have uh, Illinois. It's home. Way. 2020 home. Way. Blue. White alternates. Ghosts 2017 Jersey Road, also a blue 2017, orange and white, and a galloping ghost 2017 gray alternate. So their 2017 alternates. Okay, so that's Illinois. Next up, well, of course, we have uh, Kansas. Alternate helmet. Hmm. Don't remember if this was previously added, but it looks pretty nice. Hawkers. This wouldn't be a new one. Look at that helmet. Might be an American flag. I can't really tell. Limestone. This is new. 1961 throwback. Home Alti. Something I skipped one. Two, three, four. A lot of home alternates for Kansas. Let me go to the away. Okay, so that's pretty pretty interesting there. Next up, we got Maryland. Home and away, 2022 home alternates. The road alternates. Pride. Got a throwback. Alternate throwback. And away throwbacks. All red alternate. Very nice. White and a black. Nineteen sixty one throwbacks. Ooh, nineteen forties throwback. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. Did not expect that color scheme. It looks really nice. Marilyn on the gloves. Wow, that's that's interesting there. Going to their alternates. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, next up, we got Michigan State. Home and away, 
Got a bronze. MSU on the shoulder sleeves. Got a neon. <laughs> wow. Neon alternate. And it goes into the alternates. And just a reminder guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you want to support this small channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Um, that way you guys can get notified when the next video gets dropped. Hit that notification bell, please. Your support means, means a lot. Thank you. Next up, we got Ohio State. Home and away. Got it all black. Wolves, those are still, those are not new. They've been already added before. We got the playoff homes, aways, whiteouts, reds, Rose Bowl from this past Rose Bowl, I believe. The game from 2016. 1913 throwbacks. That's, that's new. That was added. Version 19. That's pretty cool. Well, that's pretty cool. That's a, never seen that before. Next up, we got Oklahoma. Home and away. Some throwbacks. Those are the alternates. Next up, we got Purdue. Bolomakers. Home and away. NASA. I believe that was already included. Or throwback. Got a gray. Alternate gray. A white. Gold preset. And then it goes into the alternates. Right, and then we also have Texas. Our home on the way, a home throwback, which I believe was already there. The away, okay. Away throwback. I'm not sure what changed there, but something did. All right, uh, next up, um, general updates, tweaks, and fixes. It looks like they, we went over Arizona's pants. They fixed the Boise State black helmet. Um, let's just take a look at Boise State black helmet. A blue, blue, silver. We're looking for the black. It says they fixed it, so there's a black and blue. We have a black and orange. I guess that's it. So the, the black helmet was fixed. They fixed miscellaneous Kansas assets. They fixed Michigan also having uh, two types of the same helmet. Um, so you won't come across that anymore when you're uh, doing your presets for your unis for a game. You got the Navy. So there's two, it's just navy, but I'm guessing the face mask. I don't know what's changed. I'm not sure what's going on there. I, I don't see a difference. If you guys can see a difference, let me know in the comments down below, but I don't see a difference. Okay, so. Um, they also said they fixed Wisconsin's red gloves. Let's go down to the Under Armour Reds. W. 
some throwbacks and white black default and the under armor reds and they got under armor throwbacks you wisconsin fans uh smu has a blue chromate helmet name uh smu this is that they fixed the helmet name so we'll go to smu they have a blue chrome helmet name change uh, let's see there it is a blue dallas skyline helmet it's a chrome look that's nice else Dallas blue blue chrome blue blue USA USA with a Mustang Within the Mustang, that's pretty nice. Uh, next up, we have Minnesota. For Minnesota, it says that they uh, they fixed the home preset helmet. So if the preset home helmet is the maroon yellow. It says that they fixed it. So any Minnesota fans that notice an error before then they should be fixed now also we're going to be going into the uh, some stadiums looks like they fixed some stadiums they updated the national championship for the upcoming 2022 season they've also updated the fiesta bowl the gator bowl and the georgia florida stadium so let's go ahead and take a look at those So as we take a look here on the Play Now Stadium Selection screen, they've updated the College Football Playoff Championship to be located in Los Angeles, California at SoFi Stadium. All right, so I know these teams are playing tonight, Georgia and Oregon, in the um, in Atlanta, Georgia, but uh, I went ahead and just chose them uh, for the national championship just to showcase the field and the stadium so of course we have the midfield logo in the national championship los angeles of course because that's where it's going to be held this coming football season and they got the 2023 graphics at the 25 yard lines and then of course both end zones you got both teams that will be playing in the uh, national championship And we also have at one uh, end zone, the goalpost padding, you have the uh, college football championship logo, along with the, I guess, the banners along the uh, walls of the stadium seating. So there's a few on the sideline, and of course on the other end zone. And then the other end zone, you have the goalpost padding with the college football championship logo. And if you haven't seen before, this is the this is college football revamps rendition of SoFi Stadium. All right, next up we have the Fiesta Bowl presented by PlayStation. We have the uh, PlayStation logos at the 25 yard lines. And then we have Oklahoma's 
team name in one end zone, State Farm Stadium in Arizona, and we have Boise State on the other end zone, one of the greatest, yes, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, one of the greatest Fiesta Bowl games I had ever witnessed back in the day between these two teams. We have the goalpost padding, PlayStation Fiesta Bowl. That ESPN graphics with PS5. Along with some sponsorship. along the sidelines and then the other side you have go post padding again you have the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl logo and you have more sponsors For the players, you have the Fiesta Bowl patch on their shoulder. Boise State. And then for Oklahoma, you have the same logo on their left side of their uniform. All right, next up we have the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. So there were some updates here. So at both end zones, you have both teams participating, Clemson and the Memphis Tigers. The midfield logo, you have the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl in Jacksonville, Florida. And then on each 25-yard line, you have the Tax Slayer um, logo. One end zone padding, you have the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl logo, along with the end zone logos as well, and the uh, seating walls, I guess. Tax Slayer. One end, one end of the stadium with the giant, nice size screen. Top, you have uh, Everbank. Everbank Field. ESPN graphics. Gatorade. And same on the other side, you have the Tax Slayer graphics. And in the uh, end zone goalpost padding, you also have. If I can get it in focus. The Tax Slayer logo as well. So for Clemson, you have the Tax Slayer logo on their uniform on the left side. And for Memphis, you have it also on their left side above their Nike logo on their uniform. Here we have the same stadium. Only the difference is now it's between Florida and Georgia. The world's largest outdoor cocktail party. I don't know if it's still called that, but that's what I remember it back in the day. 
So again, we have the same stadium, just between now it's uh, between Florida and Georgia. So we got the SEC logo midfield, the 50 yard line. There is no um, logos on the goal post padding, but we do have some graphics on those uh, end zone walls, Georgia, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida. Goes all the way around to the sidelines, pretty much across the whole stadium. And again, there's no goalpost uh, padding logo. It's just red. And last but not least, looking at the stadiums or fields, we have James Madison in Harrisburg, Virginia, in uh, Bridgeport Stadium. Another look at one of the new loading screens. New transfer from Pitt, Jordan Addison, on his new team, USC. All right, so here we have James Madison Dukes field. We got their midfield logo, JMU, at the 50 yard line. 25 yard line, we have the Sunbelt Conference logos on both 25 yard lines. Both end zones, you have James Madison. On the team sideline areas, you have it saying Dukes. And then on the lower left side of the field, you have Zane Shulker Field. And uh, there might have been maybe a little error on the top right part of the field there, where it should say the same thing, but. That might be a fix that they might have to do in the next update. So there you have it. You have James Madison's uh, field, which some might have never thought they would have been able to see their team in NCAA Football 14. Here's a, a view of their stadium. Now, those of you that are currently attending James Madison or maybe you know somebody that attended James Madison or even if you're an alumni of James Madison let me know what you think in the comments down below and how good of a job they did to kind of get a rendition of James Madison and the surrounding areas of the stadium Got to get the band. The band's a major part of each program and college football. So we have the helmet in black with the Duke decal on the side of the helmet. And then you have the shoulder pad uh, sleeve, the jersey sleeve. You have the SBC logo, conference logo on their jersey. Pants and the socks. Gloves. Same thing on the other side for the helmet and the jersey sleeve. And in the back we have kid number 33. Very nice. And then for the gray uh, preset combo. We have the gold helmet with the USA uh, JMU inside. Also have the same thing, SBC, JMU on the collar, and the numbers on the jersey sleeves. We have the uh, JMU on the back instead of the, for the nameplate, hashtag TTG. 
If anybody knows what that is, let me know in the comment section down below. Matching gloves, matching socks, pants, and of course the black shoes. So that is James Madison University Dukes in NCAA Football 14. And then we also have the goalpost padding JMU Dukes. And it should be the same on the other side. As you can see, JMU Dukes. So, all right, so next up, we're going to take a look at the team updates that was included in version 19. Now, in order to look at these new team updates, we have to start a new dynasty. And the team updates um, that we're going to take a look at are the FCS uh, Midwest teams. Now, these are teams that are not in the FBS, but in the FCS. And I believe they added a total of, uh, let's see, 13 FCS teams. Now, in order, like I said, in order to view them, you have to start a new dynasty after you update ver to version 19 on your console, uh, PS3 or RPCS3. Now, after you do the update, um, you can start a new dynasty, brand new dynasty with James Madison. As you can see here, I've chose them. Um, and it th shows their previous records. It only goes up to th uh, 2004. It doesn't go any uh, further than that. So here we are on their coach contract screen. Now I'm just going to go ahead and bypass all of this. I'm not going to do anything here because I want to just go ahead and show you. So we're going to go to custom schedules. And I want to be able to add uh, FCS Midwest team. Let me choose another FCS Midwest here. So I can only play one of these teams one, one time a year. It would have been nice if I can schedule them up to three out of conference opponents, but it won't let me select another FCS Midwest here. Because all of the teams that were added fall under the FCS Midwest uh, team, but you'll you'll understand once I get to the next the next uh, screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue here. I'm just gonna save it as it is. Actually, let me let me try something else. Let me try. Uh, let me go with uh, FBS generic. All right, so I got FCS Midwest and FBS generic. All right, I'm gonna keep that schedule. Now I'm just gonna just start the season because I wanna show you guys um, the teams that were also added. Now again, you can only. Um, choose these teams in a new dynasty under the FCS Midwest uh, team selection screen. All right, so we're at week one, first game of the year. We're going to be up against FCS Midwest. Now, when you go into play the game, you're going to go over to FCS Midwest. You're going to hit triangle on PS3. Now it shows the away as a preset. That's the original base game. But if you click over, you're going to have the home preset uniform for Central Arkansas. You're going to have their away jersey as well. You're going to have the home preset for Drake. They're away. Illinois State. Away. Missouri State. Away. Nichols State. 
and the away jersey. North Dakota. North Dakota State. South Dakota. South Dakota State. Southeast Missouri State. Southern Illinois. Northern Iowa. Youngstown State. So these are the teams that are part of the FCS that you are able to now play against in your new dynasties after installing version 19 on your PS3 or your PC via RSPSC3. And that's how you're going to be able to use them um, in your scheduling. So remember, you have to go, you have to select FCS Midwest uh, anywhere on your schedule for an outer conference game. Now, don't forget though, you have to select them in the play in the team select screen. You have to make sure you select the team that you want to play against. You can either use their home jersey, their away jersey, uh, college football revamped allows you to play a game using both home team jerseys. That's a really cool, uh, neat aspect of what the guys have done that uh, are part of college football revamps. You can use home and home jerseys. You can use away, the you know, same away and away jerseys. Uh, mix and match however you want. Uh, so yeah, this is how you would be able to play against an FCS opponent uh, on, off, you know, real life FCS opponent. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back. I'm going to I'm going to advance to week 2 um, because I think there's something along with the FCS Northwest uh, uh, game as well. So I'm going to advance and then we'll go from there. All right, so we're at week 2 now. We're up against the F FBS uh, I selected FCS Northwest in the preseason it comes out as FBS generic so we're gonna go back into the team select screen it has them as the FBS generic generals so that's their generic uh, team coloring but if you scroll over you'll have FIU the Florida International University Panthers so the college football revamp team they did remove them from the game as far as like doing a dynasty with them and removing them from the conference but they still kept them somewhat in the game but as under the FBS generic uh, team so if you still want to play against Florida International to keep your rivalry up um, you are still able to do that so again in the preseason you're gonna select them they're gonna be under the FCS Northwest team in the preseason when you're when you're adjusting your schedule it's going to be fcs northwest but then on the scheduling it'll come up as fps generic now again you just scroll over on your presets and then you'll find them here their home jerseys and the away jerseys so they're not completely they did not completely remove them from the game they're just Kind of tucked away under this screen this uh fbs generic team so so there you have it guys um you know this is the version 19 update that came out today 
um, just maybe a few hours ago. So that's pretty much everything that was included. Again, they just updated the intro video, the cover athlete, some loading screens. Uh, of course, the roster, if you're playing on PC, on RS PS3, uh, the roster will already be updated for you. You won't have to do anything else. For those of us on PS3, unfortunately, we'll still have to do our own uh, roster updates via online or offline uh, roster share. Uh, and of course, for Xbox, unfortunately, they're, the team is going through uh, difficulties with the conversions. They're getting it done. It's just not as quickly as you'd like. Uh, they have said that they will be uh, still coming out with version 18 uh, in the near future. And then after that, they will begin the conversion process for version 19 for all Xbox 360 users. So unfortunately for Xbox, you know, you'll still have to wait uh, just a little bit longer. Um, but for now, it's still uh, version 19 is um, is available for download now on PC and PS3. Um, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I uh, hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did bringing it to you guys. Uh, again, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for um, your notifications once I come out with another video. And if you guys, uh, I'd appreciate all the support that you guys can give. You know, it does mean a lot to me. So once again, thank you guys for watching. My name is CJ. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.